you've pulled the 18650 batteries out of your laptop batteries out of your laptop battery and you threw away the bad one and you found that you have four of them left well what do you do with these things well one thing you can do is get one of these USB chargers this thing what it does is it opens up and it needs four 18650 batteries which are the same size you pulled out of your laptop amazing these things all slide in here and they all they all connect what's called in parallel where all the negatives are connected together and all the positives are connected together so this thing out these all connect together and let me see I'll put it together first so there it's connected together what it does it has two USB ports on the front and these are what you can use to charge different devices uh, phones iPads Android tablets whatever they can be charged with these and because you got 18650s in here they'll last a lot longer than your double A's or your actually any other battery you really have except maybe a car battery they uh, they output a, they have about 12,000 milliamps inside of them so they can charge up an iPad probably twice they can charge up your cell phone multiple times your cell phones usually have 1800 milliamps or so and so you can probably charge it up about six times with this these uh, these ports they're adjustable on their output there's a little switch here on the side it switches from half a milliamp to one milliamp um, up to two milliamps and uh, just gotta switch the switch to switch them and then once the batteries die you have this uh, micro USB port here you can plug in and this will actually charge your 18650s back up now it's kinda neat because then you can avoid having to order an 18650 charger like I showed in the other video you can just use this instead you can use it for charging and charging them back up so one thing that's kinda odd about this is that once you get the batteries in you can't just turn it on that would be way too simple for this no you have to plug in a micro USB port into here and it gives it some kind of charge or something that tells it it can turn on you push the button and a little light slide up here showing you how much you have you don't have to leave it in you just gotta plug it in to get it like a kickstart or something it's kinda strange but it's okay the, uh, the push the power button you can see how much power is left in your batteries and these batteries are brand new because they just came out of that laptop out of a different laptop battery that I have or had and has a lot of juice here's an Android tablet Android tablet charges with the USB cable and so I'll go ahead and plug that in here I'll set the amps to 2 amps that's fine I got it pushed all the way forward for 2 amps then I'll go ahead and hold this down one two and there it turns on and lo and behold the Android tablet now begins to charge and you can see here it says charging well you probably can't see it charging 38 percent and the little icon down here is lit up with a lightning bolt in it because it's pulling juice off the batteries like I said these the, the nice thing is it'll charge up this this uh, Android tablet probably two or three times which is good because my kids like to play it in the car and this is a really cheap one it's like 60 bucks and it dies when <laughs> they play it for too long but now it'll last probably a lot more hours because of this I uh, the good thing is you got two ports so you can actually charge two things at the same time if you have two kids in the back you can charge up in the back of your car when you're driving somewhere they can both have something charging you can charge two cell phones in your car and it is fabulous it's turned out to be a real lifesaver the um, these are available on Amazon I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in buying one but um, anyway it's really it's really cool and it's really fun to do and it's something that uh, it makes a good purpose for those 18650s you pulled out your laptop battery so thanks for watching if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I will try to answer them.